Hey everybody, welcome to Lead Therapy. Sorry it's been a while since I made a video, I believe it's been two weeks, but I've been doing a lot of uh, outside uh, yard work and then of course, uh, you know, in between uh, watching mom and taking care of mom and taking her to appointments. Uh, and then this wasn't the original video that I wanted to make uh, today. I was going to make uh, one on the, the accessories that I put on my Palmetto State Armory, uh, the uh, AR-9 pistol I have. Uh, I, I called, I, like I pimped it out, uh, but I'll get that out, I'll try to get that out tomorrow. But as you can see in the in uh, the description that I have, um, did Bank of America flag my account for purchasing uh, something firearm related and and block my uh, Bank of America card? Uh, today there was a gun show uh, close by, and uh, I, I like to pay cash if I can because uh, even though you have a debit card. Uh, they still run it through and a lot of pla places uh, or a lot of the uh, um, tables, it'll say uh, there's usually a 3% charge even if you use debit or credit. And so I, uh, my uh, branch is open on Saturday for a couple hours. So I went in to uh, just get some cash. Um, so I went in and uh, swipe my card through because you have to prove uh, you know, that you have an account there. You swipe it through and you put your code in and then they give you cash. So when I did that, uh, she said right away, your account's been blocked. Now, uh, one other thing I want to add on is whenever I purchase anything online, I've got different, account, different accounts, and I have a, um, a debit card through Bank of America as well that I'd hardly have anything in, but when I want to purchase something online, I'll transfer money into that and use that to, to purchase the firearm or whatever it is. So... Uh, it didn't concern me too much, but I'm going, why would it be blocked? And what does that mean? She goes, well, for some reason they've locked the account. It's usually because they think possibly there's fraud. Now I know, you know, there's a lot of uh, people stealing, you know, account information and, and all that and hack. And I'm glad that they have uh, ways of checking to see this. If there's a problem uh, I've even had in the past, either got a phone call or usually nowadays it's, it's uh, them sending you an email saying, did you make this purchase? Yes or no? And, and go from there. And all the, not, I haven't had any, anything of mine hacked. My mom did years ago through Target. Uh, and, but I always say, you know, yes, I did make that purchase. And then, you know, everything's fine. Uh, so they said, you have to wait and talk to one of, rep, one of our representatives. So I did. And then uh, she goes, well, I can't look that up. She goes, I have to call that division or whatever. So, um, the lady on the phone, uh, very nice, and she says, uh, well, it shows, he, we just wanted to uh, uh, verify that uh, you made these purchases. I said, okay. And she even, uh, the lady uh, even told her, she goes, "He, uh, this is uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. So-and-so, uh, Troy, and uh, he's got his debit card in hand, and I verified by his driver's license. So uh, she says, did you uh, make a purchase through a Palmetto State Armory for three hundred and twenty dollars and or whatever, and I said, well, yes. She goes, okay. Uh, uh, our, our we. She goes, we have uh, a system that that checks people's buying habits, and if it doesn't fall within your buying habits or param parameters of what you spend, then it flags the account, uh, and then uh, it'll block it until we ver verify that. And and I understand things like that. And like I said, but I've either got a phone call or I've gotten uh, some type of email or text message or whatever and taken care of that way instead of them just blocking it. But I thought it was kind of strange because and then I explained to her that I've used that count numerous times, even spending $1, over $1,200 for the Uzi uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, and you can clearly see where I've transferred money into that account and then spend that same amount of money. I, but I just thought it was very strange that all of a sudden... All of a sudden, that just shows up when when I purchased, uh, and that was a lower for something else. I'll be doing a video on too as well. Um, but why all of a sudden does this pop up? Now, when I, I was a manager at a retail store, a very popular retail store for 25 years, and I know they usually ramp up the systems getting closer to the holidays. But I, I just thought it was extremely strange. I and I even told her that I knew that uh, as we as we all know. Uh, uh, there was videos made, I think it was right after Sandy Hook, I believe, that uh, uh, people were using their credit cards uh, to buy either ammo or firearm purchases and uh, got declined. And so I wasn't declined, 
uh, but they're, you know, like I said, they blocked my credit card really for n no reason. I could see if that was the first time I've ever used that credit card and, and never went above $300. But like I said, I spent $1,200 on an Uzi. And it so I, I just can't understand where their parameters go. And she tells me it's, it's all done through computerized. It's not a person. So, you know, I, I don't know if I'm making anything out of it. I, I just, I just find it kind of strange myself and, and it, it just really pissed me off. And then I get to the gun show, spend two hours there and didn't see anything I really wanted. So, uh, I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know if any of you guys have had any trouble in the past or any, anything recently. If you have, uh, let me know in the comments and I uh, look forward to seeing, uh, what I called my pimped out, uh, AR9. Hopefully I'll get that out, uh, uh tomorrow. Thanks.